Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews. In this episode, we explore my very limited experience with the open beta on Skulls and Bones from Ubisoft. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. With the game in development since 2013, the game has come a very long way in becoming its own standalone from its infancy being envisioned as an expansion off of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag that turned itself into a full-fledged game. With its open beta in February of 2024, the game gave players a taste of what's to come. I took advantage of this as I really like the trailers on what they wanted to bring but wasn't exactly sold. Skull and Bones was developed by Ubisoft Singapore and is soon to be released in February of 2024 on Windows PC, Amazon Luna, PlayStation 5 and of course the Xbox Series X and S. This is an action adventure that is also a tactical game set in an open world environment played in third person's perspective. I played this game on Windows PC with my limited gameplay here. Really thought the game had some really unique ideas but one fatal flaw that kept me from playing further and it wasn't the open beta time limit. The visuals here are nice. I really did love how the game looked and feel and how it submerged you into the universe of being a pirate, controlling ships, sailing, and of course, attacking others. The intro really shows you in an epic battle where you are in total control. The places you visit is also nicely detailed as with the characters around you. Although the characters do seem a bit stiff at times, I can live with that. Everything boss says is gone. No one can deny it. Doomed to this hellish rock. And where were you, Captain? While the Exeter was hounded by British frigates. No doubt cowering in your quarters, like the filthy built rat you are. The gameplay feels a bit between realistic mixed with an arcade feel. Controlling your vessel feels too easy, especially on turning around the world, but it did keep me engaged. Think of Forza Horizon series, where it's a mix between real simulation racing and arcade controls. The shooting mechanics seem fine, when shooting cannons to sharks with a spear that really caught me off guard. Looking and exploring the story also felt easy to do, but really, I was going to each checkpoint to pretty much see what to do next. Everything felt easy to do as you traverse the world, and I did feel immersed in the environment. I did wish there was more interactions with characters around you besides the main focal points, as there was a very limited and minimal interactions, but this was just the beginning, so who really knows. The worst part of the game is that this game does persist in a live online world with your saved and your Ubisoft account tied to it. You cannot, and I repeat, cannot start a new character or campaign without creating a new and different account. This is a huge miss, I believe, and I do hope this is patched out. This really affected my game directly, as there was a section where I needed to craft some items. I, wanting my pirate to look pretty cool, sold all my materials for more money so I can buy other costumes to make them look great. Later, I found that I needed all the material to craft and the game does not let you progress until you complete that specific task. I was not too happy as I scoured the area looking for material to no avail and I could not restart the game 
or go to any previous save, which there are none but only to continue. I also looked online and there were multiple other users doing the same exact thing that I did and of course I did not want to make another account. This halted my progress in the game that made me call it quits. Overall, I felt this was a huge miss on Ubisoft's part as I got permanently stuck and the workaround just doesn't tie my main account to my library of other games, which is pretty much just Assassin's Creed, but still, you shouldn't have to go through all this to do it. The game felt nice and fun to play. I love the pirate themed universe, but really destroyed my experience due to unable to backtrack to an older save or even to start all over. That's it for this look at my very short time with Skull and Bones open beta. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. This one isn't gonna make it. The little twig will snap within days. Days? That carcass is just about falling apart. And reeks of whale piss. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.